Hello, I'm OBX Toycam. and welcome back to another video. Today I wanted to respond to a certain subset of comments I've been seeing recently that say stuff like, Toycat, I really wish I could enjoy Minecraft, but right now I just don't. Or something like, oh, Toycat, you've been making videos for three years now. I bet you hate Minecraft and you're just playing it for the YouTube channel. But the truth is, I do enjoy Minecraft after having made videos for more than three years now, and after having played Minecraft more than five years, and this is very bizarre to some people. But, you know, the truth is, you need to keep Minecraft fresh in certain ways, and today's video is going to be kind of like a guide on how you can enjoy Minecraft again, it's going to be very off the cuff, just my kind of personal advice, and hopefully this is useful to anyone out there that's kind of not enjoying Minecraft as much as they wish they would. So please do like it if you do like it, because it helps out the channel a lot, and let's me do like these kind of informal commentary videos, but let's get straight into it, shall we? So let's start by saying, I really do enjoy Minecraft. I mean, I, there's no way I can really stress that anymore, but uh, some people will be like, oh, but yeah, do you really enjoy it, or do you just kind of enjoy it because YouTube thinks? The truth is, uh, every single day when I wake up and I'm like working out what videos to make, I'm usually excited about what I'm going to do. So for instance, later today, this might come out a lot later. I've got this idea for a video vaguely about how much a chest can hold because you know you, you got to think about the Minecraft chest. It can store so much more in there than really makes sense and just stuff like that. I'm like, oh yeah, that's kind of exciting. But if we if we leave videos behind and we just talk about the game itself, uh, because that's I'm sure what most of you are doing. Most of you aren't making videos. Um, then exactly how do you get excited about the game? So the truth is the game is massive and lots of people restrict themselves to a certain subset of the game. Then they get bored when that subset turns stale. So if you're wondering what I mean by that, you know most people if you're playing let's say survival. Uh, you know, they're just focusing on this one particular part of survival. Let's say it's, you know, going to, you know, kill some withers. And then one day they just wake up and they're like, I don't want to kill wither skeletons anymore. It's just not fun. And, you know, for instance, and then, you know, you might figure, oh, I guess Minecraft's just boring now. The truth is, you know, lots of people uh, limit themselves, such a small segment of the game. And the best way to enjoy the game again, this is something I have to find myself doing every now and then, is to just give yourself a wider section of the game to enjoy. So, um, yeah, let's uh, start with the survival world, because that's like, I think, what, 80% of players in Minecraft play. How do you enjoy survival again? The truth is, uh, you know, if you're working on one thing right now, work on something else. Just uh, pick up a build in your head and just decide to work on it. So the easiest thing that you can do, and the big thing everyone likes to do, is having a project. So that project can be something you make up right now. Like, you could be like, you know, I'd really like to build the Eiffel Tower in Minecraft. That's going to be an insanely complex build, but, you know, if you can con if you can work out each of the steps on how to do it, just start working on it. Just, you know, start working on something new. That's the easiest piece of advice. If you don't want to just work on something for the sake of it, try work on something that's, you know, ma making a farm, for instance. Farms are really cool because they'll help out anything you make in the future, and they are really interesting to make because you are, most of the time, trying to get the game to work in a particular way. I think farms are a particularly fun thing to do. If you don't like farms, try redstone. Lots of people have ignored redstone because it's just too complex. The truth is, redstone is this entire other section of the game that can do so many cool things if you're willing to go through the process of learning it. And it, it is a really long process to learn it, but even the basic stuff of, like, you know, learning about how the logic gates work, learning about how you can, you know, invert signals, if you just learn the very basic gates like that, you can make some pretty cool stuff in Minecraft. And if you watch my five redstone, uh, you know, uh, builds you need, you'll see that even just some very basic redstone can go a very long way to making just awesome stuff that will make you smile when you use it. So yeah, that is uh, the the first piece of advice. If you're playing survival, just focus on something new. If you're only going after killing the wither over and over again, try and focus on, you know, building something. If you're just doing building over and over again, like a lot of people do, why not focus on uh, killing the end dragon or the wither if you haven't already. If you've already killed the wither once, kill him again. The truth is, you need to kill the wither something like a hundred times on a 360 PS3 survival, a lot more on a PC or Xbox One survival if you want to cover the world in beacons. So get yourself a bunch of beacons and make uh, you know make something cool happen there. So yeah, that is uh, going to have my first piece of advice. If you're playing Survival Minecraft, if Survival Minecraft in general though just bores you because like me, you've been playing it for five years and you know that's just too long. You don't want to keep on playing the game after all this time. How do you keep Minecraft fresh again? So I think the first thing I'd recommend is trying to uh, do a challenge world. So this is something you see me do maybe once a month on uh, yeah, YouTube and I really, really enjoy this stuff. So you know, maybe it'll become a more often thing. But uh, yeah, one of the ways that I keep, uh, you know, Minecraft fresh and I get to experience some of the game again is to start a brand new world and set myself a challenge on that world. So uh, you've seen this in stuff like killing all three boss mobs. You've seen this in stuff like draining the ocean monument, which is actually kind of like a big survival project. But still, uh, that's a thing you can do right there. Um, if that's not the sort of thing for you, then try something a bit different. Try a Minecraft run where you're just not using, you know, insert uh, thing here. Uh, you can do it like, uh, I'm going to be trying to do a run, uh, for instance, where I'm going to be trying to kill the ender dragon using, never using a sword in the entire game. So only being able to use like alternative weapons and I guess they'll be like entirely snowballs with my fist. It should be a really interesting thing because trying to kill Enderman with your fist is going to be uh, difficult. That's something I think I would have done by the time this video is up. So my bad if I'm referencing something from the past. But still, pick yourself a challenge and just go into it. Do it. Have fun. Uh, I want a, a popular one is playing hardcore. Even if the system you're on, whether it's Pocket Edition or uh, the console, doesn't support hardcore, just go in on hard difficulty and tell yourself when you die, you delete the world. It makes things really tense and it makes some really, really cool situations. And if you have the U 
UHC option, which again on PC and console you do, um, going in with UHC is also a really fun time because every single moment leading up to like your first few hours is intense craziness and that's what a lot of people lack in Minecraft. A lot of people, you know, make Minecraft too safe for themselves. If that's not good for you, try that. So if, you know, if challenges are also not your thing, if you're like, you know what, I like the idea of trying to defeat the end dragon as fast as possible, but you know, I don't want to set aside two hours for this. Something that every single platform facilitates in some way is multiplayer. So multiplayer is something that, you know, on, on the PC, yeah, you hop on a server. On the Pocket Edition, you can kind of hop on a server. There's not so many, but there is a thing. On the console edition, though, you know, when it comes to multiplayer, it's something that people think is just like, oh yeah, I can't do that, and my friends play Minecraft. But the truth is, you probably have a friend somewhere that plays Minecraft, but if we just assume you don't for now, because, you know, they've all moved on to insert game here, uh, how exactly do you find someone to play Minecraft with, and what do you do with that whole thing? So, I guess, you know, just uh, go on, or even uh, check out the video I've made, where I request people to, like, put their servers and their games they're playing in the uh, thing down below. I'll try and link that somewhere. Um, I'd recommend just uh, checking out my server video, so you can find other people playing the same platform as you, try and do that. But if not, there's always stuff like the Minecraft 360 Reddit, there's always stuff like uh, the Minecraft forum, uh, there's there's a bunch of places you can find people to play with, and there's a lot of fun things you can do in multiplayer. So even if it's just as simple as two-player survival, that's a cool way to cooperate with someone, but imagine it's just eight-player survival, where you're all doing your own thing, and you know, maybe playing a faction sort of thing. If factions is, or that sort of weird thing isn't your thing, you can also just set up mini-games. I mean, there are a bunch of mini-games out there, and making one is so easy. Like, I've, I've made so many Skywars maps, although it takes, like, half an hour to an hour, it can be a really fun source of enjoyment to play this entirely different mini-game inside Minecraft, and that is that. So, yeah, the, the truth is that exactly how you enjoy Minecraft again, that I've been kind of stressing over this video, is that it's a very, very big game, and if you don't enjoy one part of it, that doesn't mean the whole game is broken, it just means you're probably bored of that one part, and the truth is, if you always set yourself a target in survival, if you always have something brand new you're looking forward to doing, or if you're just, you know, playing multiplayer and enjoying the experience of friends, there are so many different ways to enjoy Minecraft, and if you want to enjoy the game, if that's something you actually actually actively can do, and if you're, if you're watching this video, I assume that's what the case is, then yeah, try out one of these things, and hopefully that increases your enjoyment of Minecraft. Anyway, I hope you did all enjoy today's video, um, um, I hope it helped some of you out if that's what you're looking for. If you did, please do a like it and let me know. Share if you really liked it and subscribe if you're on your round here. I make videos like this every single day on my channel and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. And just a, little, a quick little point about how I enjoy videos off this time because some people are like, Toy Cat, you make two videos a day every single day. How does that not tire on you? The truth is, uh, you know, even though it seems kind of crazy and it seems like that would uh, drain me, um, every single day there's always something I want to test out with Minecraft and you'll see uh, the videos on either side of this. You know, um, again, I'm, I'm making the Videos in a slightly different order because I'm going to be away next week as I record this. But um, you know, the, the videos on either side of this that I'm making, so like breaking mobs in Minecraft, that's going to be uh, really exciting. Like just playing around with how to entirely break the system. There, I really love trying to break stuff. But even when it comes to something like, oh, I want to work on this um, new farm, for instance, that's always exciting to me. And I always try to be doing something exciting to myself. And the hope is that it makes content that at least helps you enjoy Minecraft again in some way, or that makes you just go, oh yeah, this is pretty cool and fun. I like that. So that's the goal uh, behind the whole channel in general. Hopefully I do teach you something new in Minecraft every day because that really is what I'm going for and that's what I love to do. And besides that, I guess I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you very much all for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.